Ever wondered what it was like to fly at twice the speed of sound? The Tupolev Tu-144 did just that. But how did this supersonic dream come to be? It all began in the heat of the space race, as the Soviet Union sought to outpace the United States not just in space, but in the skies as well. The task of creating a supersonic transport fell on the shoulders of the revered chief designer Andrei Tupolev. The challenge was daunting, to design an aircraft that could break the sound barrier and safely transport passengers at speeds never before reached in commercial aviation. Faced with technological hurdles and immense pressure, the dedicated team worked tirelessly. They navigated through uncharted territories, pushing the boundaries of what was considered possible in aircraft design. Despite the obstacles, their relentless pursuit of innovation and speed led to the creation of a remarkable piece of engineering, the Tupolev Tu 144. Thus, the design phase set the stage for the creation of the world's first commercial supersonic transport. The heart of any aircraft is its engines, and the Tu-144 was no exception. The Tu-144 was equipped with four Kuznetsov and K-144 afterburning turbofan engines. Each of these engines was a formidable beast, capable of producing up to 44,000 pounds of thrust. They were designed with a unique bypass configuration, which allowed for greater efficiency at high speeds, a feature that was truly revolutionary at the time. The engines were nestled within the wings of the aircraft, a design choice that gave the Tu-144 a sleek and streamlined look. But it wasn't just about aesthetics. This placement also reduced drag and improved the aircraft's overall performance. The complexity of the engines was staggering. They were feats of engineering designed to withstand the intense heat and pressure of supersonic flight. They were, in essence, the heart and soul of the Tu-144, powering this majestic bird through the skies at speeds that were unheard of at the time. With such impressive engines, the Tu-144 was ready to conquer the skies. Now that we have a glimpse of the power, let's delve into the specifications and features of this supersonic aircraft. The Tupolev Tu-144, known as the Sky Behemoth, was a marvel of engineering. It was a massive bird stretching over 65 meters in length with a wingspan of just over 28 meters. This colossal plane had the capacity to ferry up to 140 passengers at a time, but it wasn't just its size that set it apart. The Tu-144 was capable of reaching a top speed of over 2200 kilometers per hour, easily surpassing the speed of sound. It also boasted unique features like a droop nose for better visibility during takeoff and landing and double delta wings for efficient high-speed flight. And let's not forget the automatic control and navigation system which was ahead of its time. These features gave the Tu-144 an edge, making it a formidable presence in the sky. Armed with these features, the Tu-144 was a true pioneer in aviation history. From its maiden flight to its final landing, the Tu-144 had an eventful journey. This supersonic marvel first took to the skies in late December of 1968, a couple of months ahead of its western counterpart, the Concorde. In the years that followed, the Tu-144, often dubbed as the Konkordsky, was put into commercial use by the Soviet Union's national airline Aeroflot. However, the jet's operational life was not without turbulence. The Tu-144 was involved in a couple of high-profile incidents, including the Paris Air Show crash in 1973, which unfortunately claimed 14 lives. Despite these setbacks, the Tu-144 continued to serve, albeit with a reduced passenger load, until the late 70s when it was retired from commercial service. Its flights, however, didn't end there. The Tu-144 found a second life as a research and cargo aircraft until its final flight in 1999. Despite its short operational life, the Tu-144 left a significant mark in aviation history. All good things must come to an end, and so did the production of the Tu-144. -E the cessation of the Tupolev Tu-144's production was a multifaceted decision influenced by a myriad of factors. One of the notable precipitating incidents was the unfortunate accidents that beset the Tu. 144, including the infamous Paris Airshow crash in 1973. 
These incidents raise safety concerns and tarnish the reputation of this sky behemoth, making it a hard sell for potential buyers. The economic climate also played a significant role. The TU-144 was an expensive venture, and the costs of maintaining and operating the supersonic jet were astronomical. In an era where cost efficiency was becoming increasingly important, the TU-144 struggled to justify its high operating expenses. And let's not forget the political factors. The end of the Cold War brought about a shift in priorities with less emphasis on showcasing technological prowess and more on practicality and pragmatism. The end of the TU-144 marked the end of an ambitious era in supersonic transport. The TU-144 may no longer fly, but its legacies continue to inspire us. Its impact on aviation technology is undeniable. This sky behemoth became a catalyst for innovation, pushing the boundaries of what was thought possible in supersonic travel. Its revolutionary design elements, its unique delta wing configuration, and the pioneering use of canards have all left an indelible mark on the aviation world. These contributions continue to influence aircraft design to this day. The TU-144 also played a significant role in the development of other supersonic aircraft. Its parallels with the Concorde are undeniable. Both shared the dream of supersonic passenger travel and their rivalry sparked advancements that continue to shape the future of aviation. Despite their differences, the TU-144 and the Concorde are forever linked in their shared ambition to conquer the skies. The TU-144 may have been grounded, but its spirit continues to soar in the world of aviation. The Tupolev Tu-144, a marvel of engineering and a symbol of ambition. From its inception to its final flight, every facet of this supersonic giant has been a testament to the audacious spirit of innovation. We've walked through its extraordinary design, a masterpiece that pushed the boundaries of what was deemed possible. We've felt the raw power of its engines, a testament to the prowess of Russian engineering. We've marveled at the specifications and features that made it a sky behemoth. And we've journeyed through its operational history from its many variants to the cessation of its production. Yet even as production halted, the legacy of the TU-144 lived on, its echo still resonating in the annals of aviation history. Its striking similarity to the Concorde has sparked many a conversation, further cementing its place in the collective memory of aviation enthusiasts. The story of the TU-144 serves as a reminder of the limitless potential of human ambition and the relentless pursuit of progress. Until next time, keep exploring the skies. Don't forget to share and subscribe to this channel for more inspiring videos.